let us talk about adverb an adverb is a word that usually modifies modifies means changes the meaning of a word or adjective or another adverb sometimes it may also modify a preposition or a conjunction or a sentence so basically we see adverb is such a verb which lends some more emphasis or changes the meaning of maybe a verb or an adjective or an adverb itself or a preposition or a conjunction and even a full sentence so let us see how it does that now first is qualifying a verb qualifying and modifying same thing okay it means changing or adding some more uh, meaning to it uh, let's see the example where it qualifies a verb he ran fast he ran fast so here we see ran is the verb and this fast is adverb is it not adding more meaning to ran he ran how he ran he ran fast so here it is qualifying a verb qualifying a verb second he speaks clearly here again it is qualifying a verb he speaks this clearly is adverb and it is saying something for this word speaks which is a verb so here is an example of how an adverb is qualifying a verb let us see another one qualifying an adjective the flower is very beautiful now beautiful is, is adjective isn't it beautiful is adjective and very is adverb so very beautiful the, the flower is beautiful sentence could have been that also but when we say the flower is very beautiful that means we are adding some more power to beautiful isn't it it is more than beautiful it is very beautiful so very is very is an adverb and here it is qualifying an adjective next the story is quite funny quite funny quite is adverb and funny is adjective so the story is quite funny how funny quite funny very funny so uh, it is qualifying an adverb adjective next qualifying an adverb an adverb can qualify an adverb also let us see she walked very fast now she walked walk is verb very is uh, ad, adverb and fast is also adverb we saw here fast is it is an adverb but here very is qualifying this is also adverb this is also adverb so this very is qualifying uh, an adverb only then here she he draws pretty well he draws well well is also an adverb and pretty is also an adverb pretty is qualifying this well he draws well that could also have been a sentence but when we say he draws pretty well that means he draws very well some more power is added to well and well is adverb so uh, here this is also adverb this is also adverb so here this adverb is qualifying this adverb so in these sentences we see that an adverb is qualifying the meaning of a verb adjective or another adverb now here we shall see uh, how an adverb is qualifying a preposition see the sentence he arrived here right at 10:40 he arrived here right at 10:40 at is a preposition and the word that that is coming just before at that is right that is an adverb this is an adverb and it is qualifying uh, the preposition so second sentence we shall start just before dawn we shall start just before dawn so before is Uh, a preposition and just is adverb so here we see adverb is qualifying or saying something about the preposition now look at this sentence qualifying and a conjunction qualifying a conjunction conjunction is that word that joins two sentences together so he did 
did not come evidently because he is offended. Here, because is a conjunction. So, he did not come evidently. Evidently will be adverb because it is coming just before. Because, keep this in mind that adverb will come before that word which it is qualified usually. So, he did not come evidently because. Because is conjunction and evidently is adverb. He did not come evidently because he is offended. So, it is joining two sentences and evidently is an adverb. Second sentence, he got up exactly at 6 a.m. At is the conjunction and at is preposition here. Uh, if we make it conjunction, then we will have to make it little big. He got up exactly when it was, when it was 6 a.m. Now it becomes a conjunction here. So he got up exactly when it was. He got up is a sentence. It was 6 a.m. is a sentence. Now it is joined by when. So this becomes a, this becomes a preposition. Uh, sorry, conjunction. When becomes a conjunction because it is joining the two sentences. And exactly is qualifying when. So exactly is an adverb. So here it is qualifying a conjunction. Now look at this sentence. Qualifying a sentence. Clearly he was guilty. Now clearly is adverb. It is qualifying the whole sentence. He was guilty. So here it is seen adverb is qualifying the sentence. He was guilty. So in these sentences we see how an adverb qualifies a preposition at before conjunction because when and a sentence he was guilty. So these are the functions of adverb. Now let us quickly see the kinds of adverb. What are they? Adverb of time. This will have, this kind of sentence will have now, soon, early, ago, then. All these are adverbs. So, in sentences, if you see these words, then that is adverb of time. Then we have adverb of place. Here, there, near, like that. Okay, now let me tell you a few sentences also. So, adverb of time. I shall come back soon. So, here soon is there. Soon is coming. So, that is uh, an adverb and it is adverb of time. Then, she got up early. She got up early. He came yesterday. So, yesterday also tells time, uh, signifies time. So, that will also be, if yesterday, tomorrow, today, those things are there in the sentence, then you will know that it is adverb of time. Then, adverb of place. Here, there, near. Let's see the sentence. They came here. They came here. The girl ran downstairs. Downstairs is place. The girl ran downstairs. So like that. Then adverb of manner. If you see uh, these words slowly, silently, quietly in sentences, then they are adverb of manner. Like he spoke rudely. He spoke rudely. So uh, rudely is the behavior or manner which it signifies. She answered cleverly. So these are all manner. He solved the sum easily. So, these are, uh, these are all manner. It signifies in what manner it is done. Then we have adverb of frequency which will have words like always, seldom, often, etc. Let's see some sentence. He comes here once a week. He comes here once a week. So, how many times he comes? So, that signifies frequency. Frequency means how many times it is happening. So, he comes once a week. So, once a once will be uh, at the verb of frequency. Then, he seldom makes a mistake. He seldom makes a mistake. So, seldom means rarely. So, he does not make mistake. He seldom makes mistake means he does not make mistake. So, seldom says number of times. Number of times. Very less. So, that is frequency. Frequency means number of times. Then next is adverb of degree or quantity. So, this will have very enough to these kind of words. So, let us see the example. They are very poor. They are very poor. So, uh, very, uh, how, how poor? Very poor. So, it signifies degree. How, many how? Uh, that is what. Then she was too inattentive. 
when you have two in a sentence that uh, that says degree that signifies degree she is too inattentive so that is the adverb of degree or quantity then we have adverb of affirmation affirmation is yes negation is no so those sentences where, where you have yes or no then you will understand that they are adverb yes i did it no i didn't go to school he never tells a lie she did not go to school so never not no these are all adverb of negation then we have cause and effect she therefore kept quiet she there she did not know the answer she therefore kept quiet so reason and uh, cause and effect cause and effect so these uh, these uh, things are signified by words like hence therefore and so on consequently he became famous so consequently is a cause and effect so these are the words of uh, these are adverb and adverb of cause and effect then adverb of interrogation we have why did you go there where are you what you did so all these are adverb of interrogation which ask question so these are the different types of adverbs we have and uh, you shall be getting a worksheet on this so you will uh, Uh, try to uh, say which adverb is which kind now let us quickly see the rules for making adverbs adding ly to adjective as suffix hmm? so many of the adverb is made, made just by adding ly to words so they can be adverb adjective they can be noun they can be uh, uh, basically they are adjective and sometimes they can be noun so let us see adding ly to adjective like kind so ly becomes kindly then loud plus ly becomes loudly then similarly softly slowly we are just adding ly then adding ly to noun also in case of some noun adding ly will make it adjective let's see how month so month we can add ly and make it monthly that is an adjective then similarly yearly weekly all these are adjective which is just uh, made by adding ly to the noun then we have those uh, adjective which ends in y so there we have to remove the y and add i then add ly let us see y at the end of an adjective is changed to i and ly is added just like we make a plural singular plural so there also sometimes the word which ends in y we remove y and then we add i then es isn't it so similar is the case here so i uh, change to i and ly is added like lazy l a z y so y is removed i is added and then ly is added to make it adverb so it becomes lazily then we similarly we have luckily so lucky had y but luckily has i easily happily all these are adjective which are ending in y see ending in y but when we are making it adverb then we remove the y put i and then add ly that makes it uh, adverb then uh, in adjective ending in le those adjectives which end in le so e is dropped and uh, y is added, uh, i is added to it uh, sorry y is added to it let us see horrible so it ends in le so here le we shall remove le and ly will be added so horrible becomes horribly that becomes an adverb so possible possible is adjective but we uh, remove the this le and we put ly so it becomes possibly then whole whole in case of whole we just remove e and add ly so it becomes double ly wholly so these are some of the method of making adverb let's see uh, some more next in adjective ending in double l only y is added example full f u double f so we add just y fully dull we add just y dully here i am giving ly because ly is common so uh, it is kept like that so don't confuse it by uh, like here are 2l and 1l so it should be 3l no it is not like that ly is symbolic that we make uh, adverb by adding ly so ly is mentioned here so don't confuse with that so dully will be d u double l y not triple l in some adjective ending in e e is dropped 
and L Y is added. Let us see. True. T R U E. So it is ending in E. So here we will drop E and add L Y. It becomes truly. D U D U E D U. So we add L Y. So it will be D U L Y. E will not be there. So D U L Y D U L Y. So these are some of the rules for making adverb. Hope you have understood. Keep all these rules in mind. Like adjective, adverbs also have degree of comparison. So let us see positive, comparative, and superlative degree. Uh, soon, sooner, soonest. So here just e r e s t is added. Similarly, fast, faster, fastest. Late, later, latest. Near, nearer, nearest. Now all these words are adverb here. Okay. So here in these four words we have seen just adding e r and e s t. Now let us see these two words carefully. It will be more carefully, most carefully, quickly, more quickly, most quickly. We can have intelligently, more intelligently, most intelligently, easily, more easily, most easily. So in some words we add more and most. Then in some we change the words altogether. Like far becomes further and furthest. Badly, worsely, worstly. Like bad, worse, worst. So badly will worsely and worstly. Little will be less, least. So these are some of the methods by which we do degree of comparison in case of adverb. So uh, go through them and practice them again and again. So they will stay in mind. Like where you have to add more and most. Where you have to just add er and est. Where you have to change the word altogether. So these things, uh, the more you practice, the better it will be. So please go through them.